Zenith does our work for us, and Pardax uses the opportunity to take him into custody. Rather elegant, I think. A single shipment of turbo lasers isn't worth our time. Forget about it. Understood. We'll move on to the other requests and submit plans as they're developed. You go ahead. I need to tell my people where I'm going. I understand. I do, however, humbly ask that you keep things subtle. Remember, we don't want this news to spread too widely. Well, hello there. And to what do I owe the pleasure of this little surprise? There's something you need to know. I'm all ears. Maybe I just wanted to check in on my favorite spy. See how things were going. If he's free for dinner anytime soon. Aren't I just the luckiest guy in the galaxy? But, I get the feeling there might be more to this call. I don't have time for the feigned compliments, Jonas. Darth Malgus was on Dantooine. He might still be. The Jedi know, and now the Empire knows. I'm accompanying two high-ranking Sith to follow Malgus's trail. No wonder you reached out with news like that. Let me handle it from here. You do what you do best. Keep an eye on those Sith, and I'll let Master Saldera know what's going on. Thank you, Commander. It takes the Republic military ages to agree on anything, let alone act. I can't believe they've mobilized such a show of force so quickly. Maybe if the Empire focused less on backstabbing and conspiracy, we could mobilize just as quickly. Regardless of where the blame lies, senseless finger-pointing doesn't get us closer to Malgus. We need to think of a new plan of attack. I believe that's everything. Now I need you to transmit everything in your memory banks to Lana Benico on Odessan. Tell her it's for our friend Jonas, and don't speak of this to anyone. Anything you say, I cannot turn down any request from my savior. 